Hey, Steven, this is Dora. It was sure nice talking to you earlier today. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what you, you know, maybe could be missing as far as clientele goes by not having a website and just tell you some things you can do if you do get a website. So first of all, I just did a, hand, a handyman search near Medford. Um, and then, you know, ideally you would always want to be in this map pack um, once you do have a website. And you do that just by making sure that your Google business page is completely optimized and make sure that it's got lots of citations. And that would help you to get into um, this map pack since most people do click on this because it's easy. It's right there in front of you. And, you know, that's what most of us like. So let's just look at your main competitor. It looks like it's Elite Maintenance. And, you know, they've got their website, you know, they don't have a ton of content on it, which is easy to beat for when you do have a website. You just need to make sure you have about, you know, 1500 words of very relevant content. And that would help you to move up and possibly be on the first page of Google. Um, so there, when Google sends out its crawlers, they, they don't only just read your information to make sure it's relevant. They count the number of words you have also. And, you know, if you have those 1500 words of content, it's going to make a big difference for you. So there's a couple of other things that, you know, you can look at and, and do as well once you have a website. And that is to look back here. This is the domain rating of your competitor and it's a six and this is their URL rating, which is a four. So the DR is basically power and the UR is basically trust. So what you can do to help you rank is to have backlinks. A backlink is just when somebody else has given you a shout out and they've included the web address for your site so that you can click on it and come back to your site. So they've got 31 backlinks right now. You know, it looks like some of these are probably, you know, directories, but you know, if, if you are able to just go through and click on each one of these and get your own information into that backlink, then you will also pull some of the power from that site. So this one's an 84, you know, I would recommend, you know, pulling the highest ones that you can, as far as like number goes, and um, that will give you a little more rank as well. And then let's go to the keywords. So right now, Handyman Medford, Oregon has about 30 people looking for it every month. So if you were to rank in that top three um, or top five, I mean, you would be able to pull a little bit of business from there. Um, let's see a maintenance handyman. There's 150 people looking for that every month. Um, your competitor isn't pulling any business because they're ranking all the way down at 22. But if you were able to use that keyword and then, you know, you would rank a little bit higher, you could actually pull business in from that, too. You know, there's property maintenance companies at 350 looking for them every month. So, I mean, there are a lot of different, you know, um, searches. You know, there's property management. Of course, I don't know if that refers to you or not, but there's over 2,000 people that look for that every month. So, just to give you an idea of what you might be able to get if you were to have a website and, you know, make sure that you have some content. I wanted to share this with you and, you know, I hope it's valuable for you. I will reach out tomorrow, see if I can get a little feedback from you and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you.